And this is just a, a quick video for thinking about uh, big O notation. So little revision for big O. So big O notation refers to how uh, much time an algorithm takes to run. And there are these different uh, ideas that we ought to think about uh, or that we ought to know potentially perhaps know a, an example for or at least be able to describe. So the first one is constant time. So a constant time algorithm is the same time every time you do the algorithm, whether there's uh, one or a thousand or a million items. So it doesn't make any difference. So an example of that might be um, access one item in an array. So if you've got an array like this and you know it's indexed if you access item number two and let's say item number two is a five put some other numbers in for fun then just accessing that one item in an array doesn't matter how many times you access it every time you access it will be the same time um, so accessing an item in an array or another perhaps use for this might be um, accessing uh, an item in a hash table uh, would be a, a constant time algorithm as well with just a small proviso that uh, depends how good the hash table is but assuming it's perfectly done the hash table it should be um, constant time so then we've got um, logarithmic time so o of log n so o of log n an example of that might be binary search so in a binary search it's a divide and conquer algorithm so it divides the input by two each time so um, if you had a thousand items the first time you did a search you'd divide it by two and you'd have 500 left and then 250 125 etc until eventually you found the item you were looking for so binary search is an example of uh, an, a logarithmic time algorithm uh, linear time so that takes uh, however many inputs we've got however many values of n it takes that amount of time to look at it so if we've got a thousand it takes a thousand times uh, if we've got just one it takes one times so um, an example of that is linear search so linear search obviously where you start and again if we've got an array like this and it's indexed and you know if we're looking for an item in this array uh, we're going to start at the first one and we're going to search through all the items until we either find the item we're looking for or we've looked at all of the items in the array so that's a linear search it's linear time um, logarithmic uh, so linear arithmetic time so this is error of n log n which is uh, not quite so not quite so good as logarithmic but it's it's still uh, a good uh, a good algorithm for time better than uh, than just our standard linear idea so that might be merge sort So merge sort is is that kind of algorithm. So merge sorts where we split things into uh, individual items and then pair them and then sort the pairs. Uh, quick sort is probably another example of that. So then we've got uh, quadratic time. So O of n squared. O of n squared, the best example is bubble sort. And if you've programmed bubble sort, you know it's got, you know, a for loop and another for loop. So because the for loop's running times this one, it's going to be a an n squared algorithm. Incidentally, if you had another algorithm that had an additional third for loop, that would be uh, an n cubed uh, algorithm as well. Uh, but bubble sort's the best example for quadratic time. 
exponential time where we've got to the power n so the more items we've got to look at uh, we're exponentially looking at those uh, so instead of just increasing it by one we're we're timesing it to the power of that which is a enormous um, time uh, pressure on our algorithm for that one so um, if we were brute forcing so brute force a password then you know that would be an example of that kind of algorithm so you know for um if you've got a four digit number four digit numbers and we knew there were numbers that's like ten thousand or so combinations uh but you add another number then it's not just ten thousand and one it's uh we're going to times it again by those numbers so it's going to go up and up uh and finally the one we've got here is n factorial so an n factorial idea uh that is a very bad uh time algorithm it takes a very long time example of that would be traveling salesman and the traveling salesman is where uh you know we have we've got a graph or a map and you know we need to visit every location should have joined that up didn't um, so where we have to visit every location and come back to where we started from uh, and there's various routes to do it um, so the more of these nodes you have the more there is to visit and it's a factorial algorithm because we have to uh, look at every single option to make sure we've got the best route uh, in that case so that's the traveling salesman so there are these kinds of algorithms uh, in big O and we call this big big o notation so these algorithms at least these time signatures you ought to be able to recognize and potentially come up with um, an example of so if someone asks you what's the time complexity of linear search for example then you ought to be able to say that's o of n and again i think in in the a level course they the uh there are several searches in there. Bubble sort's definitely one that's in there. Uh, you should be able to say that bubble sort is um, O of N squared. Uh, and binary search is definitely in there. At least tree searching is definitely there, binary tree search. So you ought to be able to definitely say that that's O of uh, log N uh, as a time complexity. So that's just a quick, uh, thinking about big o notation and the kinds of algorithms uh, that you should be aware of for that <laughs>